Alright y'all, so this video is very disturbing to me. Now, this is about a 35 year old mother who was trying with her 8 year old child who was dragged out of her car, beaten by a group of ATV and dirt bike riders after she honked at them to go because they would not move at a green light. Okay, so there are, there are about 10 of them. Now, um, like I said, she honked at them at the light to go around 11 p.m. Tuesday in Providence, Rhode Island. Police said at the next light, they circled her car and drug her out of her car. Now, she was seen a cell phone video taken by Providence News on her knees in the middle of the road and staying a barrage of punches. She was left in the middle of the street and her attackers fled the scene. So, I, I just don't understand. Alright, um, obviously the victim's name has not been released. Um, poor says she did not go to the hospital. Now, one of the suspects has been arrested in this. Uh, they were arrested Thursday, which would be yesterday. Um, that person was Shane Barshvart, 24. She was charged with simple assault and disorderly conduct. Now, this is not the first time this person has done something like this. Alright, so... Back in January, she was also arrested in Rhode Island when she was alleged part of a group of riders who beat up a Cranston police officer. The officer was pushed, surrounded, and run over. Run over. By responding to dozens of reckless driving motorcycles and ATVs. Now, of course, during her arrest, she claimed police violence and all and brutality and all that. Sorry to go from a page, all that good stuff. Now, you know, you it's kind of hard to say that you're getting brutalized by the police when you got people running over an officer and you took part in that. Okay? So, um, with that being said, just to put my emphasis on this, okay? This woman was traveling with her child, okay? Her eight-year-old child. So that is something that that child is going to have to live with. They're going to have to live with the fact that a group of people, 10 people now, drug his or her mother out of their car and beat her because she haunted them to go to green light. Like, do you know how many people get honked at at a green light every day? People are distracted on their phones. People are looking out the window. People aren't paying attention. People are doing whatever. And they're not paying attention. Like, people honk all the time. If you are that upset that somebody honked at you because you did not go at a green light, then you, you, you're you lost, okay? You just need to be put in a mental institution. If that really pisses you off that much to gang attack this woman, then you don't need to be driving and you don't need to be out in the streets. You need to be locked up somewhere. Okay, like I said, if it upsets you that much, you don't need to be in the streets. You need to be locked up in a mental institution. There's no reason for that. And on top of that, y'all are cowards. Ten of y'all versus her. All right, and in the pictures I'm looking at, it looks like there were males in there. And that's even more disgusting. Like... Even if it was all females, that's still disgusting. Ten on one? Like, y'all are such cowards that you can't fight one on one. You have to have ten versus one. And on top of that, in front of her eight-year-old child. And like I said, it's even worse that there are men and they're participating in that. The men should have stepped in and stopped the attack. They should have broke it up between the women. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, that is so... So disgusting. Like, and again, it's in front of her eight-year-old child. Like, I, I don't understand why anybody would think that this is okay to do this in front of an eight-year-old child. And you've done it before. You were involved in this before. And you, you had people riding over a police officer and you didn't stop it there. So why would you, like, why is this any different? And if this happened back in January, why are you out now? It's August. So why are you, are you even out now? That That's my biggest thing. Alright, um, but if any more information comes out on these suspects, I will definitely bring that to y'all. Um, but as always, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Prayers for this woman and her child. You know, hopefully her child can move on from this and not have to suffer any kind of traumatic 
disorders from this. Hopefully she can move on. Um, again, thank you she was not seriously injured. You know, she has some bruises, some cuts, some scrapes, obviously. Um, she's going to be sore and bruised up for a while. But hopefully she can move on from this. Um, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. As always, thank you all for watching, and y'all stay safe, fellas.